the race is Laura's um, to win now, isn't it? Penny Jones is moving into it, second place, the uh, 2019 NCAA champion over 5,000 metres with Corey McGee, as you say. Nikki Hilt's just going backwards slightly. Jenny Bickle Simpson actually is uh, still uh, way back through the field at the moment as we see Helen Schlachtenhaufen in fourth position as well. But it's Laura Muir coming out into the final 200 metres, chasing a clock here, certainly, Jenny. Yeah, she looked like she went through in around about 3 minutes 30, so maybe she'll just be outside 4 minutes at this stage. You can always tell that Laura worked hard, you can see that grimace on her face there. And I actually thought Jenny Simpson was a little bit further up the field, obviously a lot of girls with the same kit on. And this is Kate Grace, I think, coming to second place now. In fact, I'm wrong, Chris. <laughs> Tell me who it is. Keep your eye on Laura Muir anyway. The clock stops at 4.01.52. It's Schlachtenhaufen who takes second place in the end, ahead of McGee third. Danny Jones was fourth, and then Hilf came through for fifth. But Laura Muir, 4.01.54 for the Great Britain athlete. Her PB, of course, is in the 3.55. Just a bit of elbowing and bumping with Raven Rogers, but it's still Ricky. Now Rogers challenges. Yeah, and this is really coming down to those strength-based athletes uh, towards the end of the race. And Gemma Riki is one of those strength-based athletes. Raven Rogers there on her shoulder. Remember that famous last 100 metres in Doha World Championships, where she came all the way from seventh to second. But here we see Adele Tracy on the inside there from Great Britain. She's been doing some strength work on 1500 metres, and she's challenging Gemma Riki all the way to the line. And it's going to be a British one-two. And I'm not actually sure who got that. Adele was travelling really quickly on the outside there. Adele Tracy's been given it right on the uh, the line by one hundredth of a second. 203.25 from Gemma Riki ahead of Raven Rogers. Well, Adele Tracy, that will be a, a great scout for her, I'm sure. Except for Andy Bayer, who retired this week, and Hilary Bourne out getting passed in third position by Furlick. But it's a terrific run from Isaac Update, who comes into the home straight now, and Furlick will try and close him over the final barrier. But Isaac Updike is going to take the victory here. And as we come up towards the line, the clock is ticking. 8.22 is that Olympic standard, you know, Jim. We thought it wasn't on. Isaac Updike clenches the fist. He's got it in second place. Furlick will get it as well in a lifetime best for both of those. That's the fastest time in this fledgling year for Isaac Updike. And there are two more to add to the US ranks. Well, the Oceania indoor record holder, the Australian team is uh, pretty busy and stacked with 1500 meter talents with the likes of Stuart McSwain and Jai Edwards as well. But it is Ollie Hoare who's dictated this race from a long way out. Bat battle on in behind Donovan Brazier coming through in third, closing on Justin Knight. But a fine run from Ollie Hoare who latched onto the pacemaker here. His PB previously is 334 and he's inside that. It's a lifetime best for Ollie Hoare. Justin Knight.